Hello, Johnny. It is such a pleasure to chat with you today. Thank you, Andrew. How are you doing? You okay? I'm doing pretty well. How are you? I'm good. I'm just a little bit tired. <laughs> you know, I came out from Florida. I've been here for a couple of days. I did a couple of interviews since I've been here with the Mar Museum. Incredible place. It's just absolutely stunning place with all the, the, the pictures of all the Mar people. And I knew some of them, you know, so yeah, it's exciting to be here. But anyway, you could fire away with your number one <laughs> question about the Godfather movie that I could answer for you. Well, I mean, the fact that The Godfather reinvented the American crime drama and it left such a massive legacy. When you were working on the film, did you have any idea just what kind of impact this film was going to have? You know, I get that question a lot. You know, no, no one had any idea. It was really kind of a little bit nerve wracking because we weren't sure because Francis was new, new director. And we were doing our job, you know, do one scene at a time. Hopefully it was going to be fine. But let's face it, when you're starting any movie, nobody knows what's going to happen, how good is it going to turn out. The thing that kept the backbone of the movie popular was the book. Hmm. The book is a number one book. And about the mob, people were fascinated about it. And us as actors... We're trying to develop our characters, do the best we can to make the, make the book shine even more. People, you know, sometimes you make a movie off a book and the book is way better than the movies. But this movie turned out, I don't know, maybe equal the book. But it did turn out to be what it is because of our characters were so unique. Everyone was so good on what they were doing. We became best of friends while we're doing the movie, all of us. Mm -hmm. No one, everyone got along really well. Um, yeah, uh, listen, it became a dream for everyone how it developed and became one of the greatest films of all time, if not the best of all time. Well, I'd read and I'd even heard Francis Ford Coppola say in his intro to the new Blu ray that it was a tough film to make. And so I'm curious, as actors, did you guys feel that it was tough? Were there parts of it that, that maybe were a bit of a slog compared to the rest of the film? I don't know. That's a tough question for me to answer. Um, I'm a simple person. <laughs> I don't know all the technical parts of how they do whatever they do, but you know what? To me, even just seeing it for the first time at the premiere, it was amazing sitting in an audience with all the celebrities from Gene Hackman and so many famous people watching the film at the same time when I'm on the screen. And I go, wow, that's really amazing. Yeah, I don't know what they could do, what changes they could possibly make to make it even better, but it's always going to be the Godfather, no matter how clear or how they do it. it the sound, I don't care what they do. It's the Godfather movie. It's It's... The Godfather movie that everybody's so proud to be in it. And I'm so sad about when I think of all the people, like even Clemens, I believe they're going to take the cannoli. He wasn't with us that long. Mm -hmm. Poor guy died, I believe, at 55 years old. Fredo and Latiri, all the great actors are gone. And I'm still living it, enjoying the feeling of being in the greatest film. How lucky Johnny Martino was to be in it. You know, it was amazing. Well, Polly is an unforgettable character. Uh, did you have a conversation with, with Coppola about the character at all? Did he have any notes for you or was he directing in a certain way for the character? Yeah, that's a great question. No, he never did. He liked what I did when I first started out. When I said, Rocco, sit on your side. You've liked the rear of the mirror. He fell in love with me. He said, Johnny, that was so real and so beautiful. He says, I take a ride around the block. You drive a stick. Says, yeah, I rode around the block with him. He says to me, you know, I understood. I think already must have told him. Johnny's connected with the mob. They, you know, he knows a lot of people. And lucky Luciano was his uncle. Yes, he probably knows a lot of people in New York. And Francis took me into confidence. They asked me if anything I could do to help him with the movie. Because he says, I don't know any mob people. Johnny, if you make any connections, you want to change any dialogue or whatever. He gave me that liberty to do it. And I mm -hmm. did. Madonna's Fuitonado and the scene, the wedding. I, I, I started out living in the film, but it's not just that I had lived. I was poorly Gatto. Mm -hmm. I developed that character. 
when they ask me, you're Paulie and I do Paulie, then I'm Johnny Martino's character, fun, laugh and everything. But when I'm Paulie, I'm Paulie Gatto. I developed this character. It was amazing. Did, did the character stick with you? Like, uh, obviously, from the frame point of, of fans, obviously the character must stick with you. But th- does does portraying him kind of stick with you even today? Yes. You know, look, um, all I have to do, take one minute and think about Paul Ligato and I'll become Paul Ligato again. That's how it works. You know, once he's in you, you got him. I got Paulie in me. And, I'm, you know, sometimes I even say when I watch the movie, is that really me? That guy's famous. Is that me? I'm Paul Gatto in the movie? Come on. It's hard to think that, you know? He's a legend, and I'm Johnny Martino, kid from Brooklyn. Come on. You know, it's crazy. But I'm fortunate I am to be in that movie, yeah. Do you watch movies today? And, I mean, I think there's quite a few movies, certainly the last 20, 30 years, that have referenced The Godfather heavily or taken tone. Or, But have you seen characters like yours in some of the other movies, some that you, you see a sign of? Um, I think sometimes characters develop from the Sopranos. They try to come off as some of my, they got a guy named Paulie in the, in the show. Uh, Tony Sirica, he's a friend of mine. But then they have uh, Paulie, Paul Sabino, and Goodfellas. You know, I, I think a lot of movies do a little bit take off on The Godfather. I think many television shows. You have, it's crazy how The Godfather's mentioned in so many movies that any kind of line, they'll throw it out just so they could see a part of The Godfather movie. Uh, mm-hmm. In The Sopranos, the lady that was in the movie, um, she turned around and said one time, I would give up all my scenes in The Sopranos to have one line in The Godfather movie. That's amazing. Yeah, just to be in the film alone, just one line. It's true. You know, it's you're forever. You're just, it's forever and ever. And then, yes, it's going to be around forever, The Godfather film. How lucky I am. I got, I got lots of children. They love the movie. Their daddy's in The Godfather movie. Yeah. Well, the last thing I want to ask you is really, you know, what's what what's your favorite fan experience? Because I'm sure many people have come up to you. I've I've heard one story, but one really interesting fan who who wanted to meet you. But what was your favorite fan experience? Um. <laughs> well, um, tattoos. Did that scene on yeah, well, my death scene, what happened was when I did the death scene, I don't know if you you, you saw the movie, I'm sure many. Oh, yeah. Times. What happened was uh, when I, just before I was going to get shot, a guy got in the car with a rifle, a 22. I don't know if you noticed, but anyway, he's with the actor in the back scene. I said, to the guy, what are you doing in the car? He said, well, I got to put three bullet holes past your head through the window. I said, oh, I said, wait a minute. Francis came over. He said, John, what's going on? I said, I don't know. This guy in the back seat with a rifle, he, says, he wants to put three bullets past my head. I said, is that a joke, Francis? He said, no, 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 Johnny, listen. He's a marksman. He worked on Bonnie and Clyde. You don't have to worry. I think he's going to be good. So here's the scary part. The guy said, show me what you're going to do. I went bang, bang on the wheel. He said, okay, John, don't move to the right, he tells me. I said, oh, my God. Sure enough, we did the shot in one take. The bullets through the window was amazing. That's wild. I can't even imagine today. <laughs> well, thank you so much for the time. I really appreciate it. Yes, my pleasure. Thank you very much, guy. Take care. Take care. Have a wonderful day. 